Hey, thank you for joining me this morning. We're at Luke 11, verses 52 to 54. We're closing out the chapter. Let's read it and see what we have here. Jesus is talking, Woe to you, lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter in yourselves, and those who were entering in you hindered. And as he said these things to them, the scribes and Pharisees began to assail him vehemently and to cross-examine him about many things, lying in wait for him and seeking to catch him in something he might say that they might accuse him. So this is the, there were three woes to the Pharisees, and now there's three woes to the lawyers. This is the third and last woe. They have taken away, Jesus says, the key of knowledge, and they themselves wouldn't enter in, and nor would they allow others to enter in. So they're adding the commandments of men to the commandments of God, and they're creating confusion, and they're confusing the pathway to the kingdom. And Jesus is very unhappy about that. And of course, they begin to assail him and attack him, and they're trying to catch him. And you've got the, the strongest lawyers, the strongest minds in Jerusalem, in the nation there. They're, there they are. They're, they're rattling away at Jesus because they want to catch him in his words. It's, it's kind of a battle between light and darkness, isn't it? And then we come to this, what we see here, this key of knowledge. It, in a human, the human element always wants to take away the key of knowledge. God gives us the key of knowledge. Through his word, he, he shows us the pathway home. But then we always have people out there who are adding to it, bending it, reinterpreting it, changing it around, saying this applies, this doesn't apply, this is, it needs to be applied this way. And we've always got an interpreter out there who's going to bend it so that, you know, you can have the lowest, the lowest possible obedient level of obedience, the lowest possible impact on my life, and still be considered pious. Hey, Jesus says, no, 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 just, just stop. Just give it up. You've taken away the key of knowledge, and you're preventing people from entering into the kingdom. That withdraws from Jesus, one of these catastrophic woes. And yes, the lawyer who said to Jesus, oh, you're, you're, re you're reproaching us also. And Jesus said, yes, I am. Woe to you, lawyers. We can see why as we've reviewed these six woes, three to the Pharisees and three to the lawyers. Well, friends, may we not enter into that same business. May we not uh, ever be guilty ourselves of, in some respect, taking away the key of knowledge. Instead, let us go to the Word. Let us live our lives by the Bible. Let us live our lives and share with others what the Bible says. They've heard enough of what humans say Let's see what does God's word say, and I think people will be enormously blessed. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we look to you. You have given us the key of knowledge, and you placed it in everybody's hand. Who doesn't have a Bible, either in print copy or on their cell phone or in some other format? Lord, what, what can we say? We are very responsible now. You've put it in our hands and all we need to do is spend a little bit of mental energy and read it. So, Lord, bless us. Help us to apply these things to our life by the power of your Holy Spirit. May our lives be transformed. May we have a little part in transforming the lives of others, at least pointing them to Jesus for transformation. And that's, that's what, the only thing we ask, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, what a blessing and opportunity we have to be pointing people in the right direction so they can receive from Jesus the key of knowledge, the truth of his word. May, may you be blessed today as in some way your life touches the life of someone else and points them to the king, his majesty, King Jesus.